all the students and all the teachers in the beginning were, let's just start there. Yeah. Kathy Green came along with Art. I came along with Buzzy. And, uh, a couple of other people came along for the ride, but we came- A couple of other women. Women came along for the ride. Yeah. There, were, there were no women students in the beginning. It and wasn't even a discussion. I didn't sit there feeling, why can't I be included? I was just part of the group. Um, yeah, that wasn't part the of the language. Year, this, yeah. the, 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 the third year, actually, 1970, I actually was a full-time student and then and, and took on responsibility. And I, if you want, I can tell you the story of how women became, became, except, uh, became equal halakha. I can tell you now. I guess it sort of fits. If sure. You want. So it was our first year retreat. So it was probably, I think it was the first year. It was Sukkot, I think, retreat. We were out in some right at the retreat center. I believe so. It could have been the second year, but I'm pretty sure it was the first year. I, I may be wrong about this. And we were on retreat. And uh, for Shachri, we were up, some, some of us were up early. There were 10 of us, nine men and me. And um, no one was thinking, you know, oh, we don't have a minion or anything like that. And then somebody, one of the, our, our members was, I think, Epi, 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 was saying Kaddish. And he was and, the one, he grew up Orthodox. And someone said, oh, we can't, we can't, Epi can't say Kaddish, there isn't a minion. So I counted noses and I said, why, there's 10 people here. And I wasn't being provocative. Remember, I grew up in a feminist household. I mean, I granted that feminism hadn't hit Judaism yet in my world or anybody else's world, but I just, here we were, I mean, we were equal people, and I was a player, I wasn't, you know, I hadn't been applied, applied and gone to, gotten admitted or whatever, but, I, you know, I was very much a part of the community. So, and people were like, oh. <laughs> and then someone said, well, let's ask, Epi gets to decide whether he can say Kaddish with, with, you know, nine men and a woman, and Epi said, fine. Was it immediate? Yeah. I think so. And yeah. then... In many, I, other, and then, many other cases, we subsequently studied the halachic sources, but in this case, it we was... We didn't study the for, for other things. But in this case, we needed to make a decision, and it didn't come from ideological. It just came because there were 10 people there. And then from that, pretty much from that day forward, we were egalitarian. Well, the real issue had to do with um, were we counting women in the minion? Right. And that was a decision that was a kind of famous incident. Have you heard about this story? No, Perhaps. Told it, so please do. The, the, here's my recollection. We were on a retreat. And this must have been the second year of the Chavura. We were on a retreat. And Epi had to say Kaddish. His brother. For his father. And there weren't enough men to make up a minion. Now, why that, how that could have been, I don't know. At that point, someone, I think it was Mona, mm -hmm. brought up, well, why can't we count women? And then ensued a lengthy discussion about this. Back and forth, I can't remember the details of it, but you know, whether we should, whether we shouldn't, whether we could, whether we couldn't, that kind of thing. Right on the spot. On the spot, I think. I think on the spot. And finally somebody said, um, well, <clears throat> we kept talking, well, Epi needs a minion, blah, blah, blah. And we, finally someone said, well, Epi, what do you think? And he said, I guess it's okay. <laughs> like that. There was nothing. That was it. That was the decision. There wasn't a learned investigation of Jewish sources and a tshuva written by... It. That was it. it was, yeah, I guess it's okay. All right, so we'll do that. I mean, it was just like, my recollection is it was fraught, that's for sure, but the decision itself was kind of casual, emanating out of very intense conversation. Well, I'll tell you, that, that, that one I know. There's, there's a classic Chavura story. And that is in the second year of the Chavura, but I'll, I'll, I'll jump back after that. The second year of the Chavura, we were on retreat. And at the end of the retreat, Saturday night, I guess, Epi, Seymour Epstein, stands up and says, I have your sight on Tuesday, and I need a minion. Who can come? And people raise their hands. How many people can come to the minion? And he, raises, he starts counting, and he counts only the men. 
And Mona Fishbane, Mona Dekoven, who was maybe married to Buzzy, maybe is just engaged to Buzzy at that point, stands up and said, excuse me, you asked how many people can come? I'm a person. And we all stopped. And at that moment, we began counting women in the minion. That was the moment when it happened. And it just happened automatically. We all said, of course. And there was no opposition to it. And there was no need to consult halachic precedents or to ask or to ask Shabbos. It was just, it was obvious to us that she should be counted, that women should be counted. And we immediately became egalitarian instead of counting women at that, at that moment or that Shabbat. Uh, it was just so clear.